What's your favorite non-sexual act of intimacy? R slash Reddit. Hugs. Edit. Or thanks for the gold and other awards. Hugs sure are great. Tight hugs. Every better. Now I feel like giving hugs. What if we hugged right now? Just kidding. Unless. R slash Reddit. Being draped over each other in bed or on the couch reading our own books sharing physical space with our minds in different worlds. Very grounding and comforting. It's been seven years since I was last in a relationship with a fellow reader. I miss this so much. R slash Reddit. Cuddling. Cuddling naked. Gotta get that skin contact ink bro. Only for the homies though. Ain't homo if it's with the homies. R slash Reddit. When he rubs my back gently while we're out in public. It seems like he's comforting me. But it's more about a him feeling awkward in a social situation and not knowing what to do. I'm like his support animal. Edit. I shall accept these awards like I accept back rubs. Thanks. This one's my favorite. This is me and my boyfriend. We'll be in a fucking McDonald's at peak hours. A cheeseburger on the plate thing in front of us. And his hand under my shirt softly rubbing or lightly scratching my back. And we'd just be people watching. It's comforting. Edit for clarification. The burger is not smeared over my back. R slash Reddit. My fiancé likes to face me, put her arms around me like a hug, and stand on my feet, then we walk around our apartment trying to do things that way. It's kind of like mittens in that it just makes everything more difficult but is adorable. I also like to do that, but with myself and I put my hands on my face and it involves crying. I got you dude. Virtually standing on your feet right now. R slash Reddit. Kisses that don't lead to making out. Kisses on the forehead, cheeks, tip of the nose, hands, or just random places like the shoulder, or the stomach lol. Yap yap, love doing that to my ex-girlfriend. A bunch of little kisses on her face, neck, whatever. Especially when wishing good night. And I especially loved her happy face expression. Yes. It's the best before sleeping. I love sleeping. R slash Reddit. Laughing together. Not like day to day hard nose puffs and whatnot. But those fits of hysterics where I have tears and my boyfriend has this specific high pitched cackle giggle hybrid that only comes out in moments where we are both holding nothing back and we're just two humans doing this being a live thing together. And our individual existence is better for it. Feels incredibly intimate in that way. You mean the Ron Swanson giggle? Always find your own personal Ron Swanson. R slash Reddit. That slutty hand holding really does it for me. I bet you're the type of person that interlaces their hands instead of just grabbing them. You should be ashamed of yourself. I don't care what the world thinks about my kinks. I don't even wear mittens. WTF. No glove, no love man. R slash Reddit. When the pizza slice enters my mouth, I bite down and get that delicious taste of greatness. The pizza knows, I know, the universe is as one. Edit. Did not expect this reaction. Wow. Most likely meat feast pizza, but all pizza is the manifestation of the oneness of the universe. R slash Reddit. My boyfriend and I started to introduce our kids to one another. There was a moment when they were all playing together really nicely and we just looked at each other and smiled. Like we were both thinking the same exact happy thought. It was a perfect moment. I want this. The last two ladies I've tried that with have gotten mama bear instincts and put an end to it. No fights between the kids, just random retreat. I don't understand. I think parenting style is a big factor in compatibility. Maybe you just need to find someone more laid back. Agreed. The last one's reasoning was that she couldn't bear the thoughts of sharing her son with myself and my son. Although I was the first relationship post-divorce. So she'd never encountered that before. We're always discovering new land mines to step on, right? Kind of sounds like you dodged a bullet there my friend. R slash Reddit. The back rub. I'm amazed this isn't higher up. I love it when my husband rubs my back whether it's just gentle rubbing or an actual deep tissue massage. I also love when he gently strokes the inside of my forearm or the tops of my feet the skin there is sensitive. 
We've been together for almost 18 years and none of these things have become old news. It still feels like the best thing ever, every time. When he starts, it sometimes seems like he hadn't touched me in weeks, even if he rubbed my back the night before. I'm like an addict. R slash Reddit. Hunting together. Nothing more of a bonding experience than hunting down a human together and murdering that person. Hold up. R slash Reddit. Getting my hair brushed and played with. Yep, this. We both love it. R slash Reddit. Wrapped up under a blanket watching movies, while she's wearing my t-shirt or hoodie. And she's got a messy bun on her head and glasses instead of contacts. Keep going, I'm almost there. When the flashes of the pixels of the screen on the table hit her eyes and the look of curiosity mixed with the innocence on her face makes you feel like this is it. It is amazing. And nothing will ever ruin it. She shows you places, takes you on hikes, which you would have never given a shit about before. But somehow, you enjoy it. Just her presence is enough to make it worthwhile. And nothing will ever ruin it. You tell her about your problems. Small, petty, but important to you. But she pretends to care quite convincingly. She listens, she cares, you matter to her, and nothing will ever ruin it. R slash Reddit. Cute one. When holding hands with my fiancé we will squeeze two or three times in a row just as a check-in, to let the person know we're okay. It went from a thing we only did when hanging out to a way to check in with the other person if we are in a high-stress environment without having to talk. Weird one. If we are both barefoot I'll put my big toe between my fiancé's big toe per second toe and sing the Spice Girls to become one. I have no idea when it started, but it's been going on for years. This is the relationship I strive for. You know, they say that you never go full retard but it's the ultimate test of love. My wife loves me. R slash Reddit. But naked cuddles. No groping or anything, just cuddling. Under the covers, nothing on. Warm, intimate, makes me sleepy. That is really nice. Any form of cuddling is great, but that way it's better. It's nice but it leads to sex 100% of the time for me. Then more naked cuddling after which is nicer. Sounds like an endless loop. When do you eat? That's kind of a personal question. R slash Reddit. I know this sounds like a joke but the most intimate thing I've ever did is letting a girl borrow my phone charger. R slash Reddit. I replaced someone that had been in my role for five years at a Japanese-owned company. Luckily, he stayed for several weeks after I started, and I was able to sit with him and learn what he did. Which is something I've never really had in my career. On his last day, one of the employees from Japan, whom my predecessor really liked and respected, came into our office, and bowed very deeply. And with a great reverence, while putting his hands together, and making eye contact. Then he gave him a big hug and said goodbye. It was my first time seeing a bowl like that outside of a dojo in Taekwondo, and was quite a moving thing to observe. That's a big fucking deal. Especially if the other guy was higher status than the employee who was leaving. R slash Reddit. Belly rubs as fucking weird as it sounds. I had a partner that would randomly stick his hand under my shirt and just gently rub my belly. He'd say my skin was so soft and just do it over and over. I had to get over a bit of insecurity to get to a point where I didn't care, but now it feels so comforting. I mean, that's either really sweet and cute or he was sizing you up to make a skin lamp. I don't think there's an in-between. R slash Reddit. Surprise hugs. I'm used to being the giver of surprise hugs and I used to be in a kinda rough relationship she was abusive fast forward to my new girlfriend who is amazing and kind I was minding my own business, working and suddenly I feel warmth wrapper around me and I legit jumped like it felt nice but it also was very surprising and I was like a split second from wrenching away from said arms until I recognized the scent of my baby lol definitely an odd feeling for someone that's never had it before r slash reddit i remember when my brother broke his arm and i was trying to keep calm for him but i was sweating profusely and my best friend wiped the sweat off my face 
It was one of those things where only people really close to you can do, or at least for me. It was the gentle take care of you kind of things. Oh man. You just reminded me of something a friend of mine told me long ago. I can't believe I've forgotten it. He told me that once, while having sex, the girl gently reached up and wiped sweat off his forehead. He told me that simple gesture meant so much to him and spoke volumes about the kind of girl she was. The fact that this simple gesture had such an impact on him told Emmy a lot about his character. He was such a great person. He passed away not long after from an aggressive horrible cancer. Thank you for bringing that memory back. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.